<laughs> They're just right. making sure that nobody leaves their seats, you know. Okay, keep right. them guessing. So E-Home dropped a new... Less than three minutes, and he is suddenly 18 and 9. And they're not done yet with DDC, but... Oh, they're, this is, they're getting first blood. At this point, you're just going to let him go. I, I don't think you... Oh, Tron with the lift. They want the twofer. They they're going to get him as well. What a disaster for me, home. Oh, my god. The double melt. Do they get it? Yep, they do. Tron will collect it. Should spend his gold here in short order. Buys a magic. The X Factor for Ehome may come from the Storm Sphere. If he gets Radiant's level 6, he needs to go actually gank some of these lanes. He can't just sit back and keep farming. And as we sort, as we started to talk about during the draft, that this is a better game for Straight Morphy because they have so much pop. Oh, lift, stun. Looks like it'll be enough. CYF goes down again. They bring in reinforcements. This will be your Bristleback. But I'll yeah. move on to the tower. This is a five-man top. IG. Bringing in everyone, and with the Luna Blessing, you've got some good extra bonus Dyer's damage to bring down a T1 tower. Yeah, they got five ranged heroes Radiant's here. This is going to be sh short, attack. quick work for IG, and Radiant's what do Ehome actually do? They're trying to split push, but it's Di Catches somebody out with a stun. Follow-ups there. DDC quickly dealt with, courtesy of a raise. As 430 will try to hold RTK back at bay. Threatens a Requiem, Morphling slaps down the tower, gets the last hit, now the Eclipse comes in from the sideline, Bernie with an excellent backstab, Requiem's there, three, fall, and IG just back. Typing now, Finger, Laguna, the dueling blade, beams of light here, Zihom forced to retreat in the end, they're just a bit too strong on the IG side, they've got a hasted swagger feed, and now the Requiem on to RTK, one, two, and they don't even need the third raise, they get the kill, chase it forward. They're gonna try to take the fight. They leave the gem in their base. So that will still be available as Lanham attempts to start the fight, but he gets lifted off the bat. Laguna coming out, bringing him down to about half health, and now the troll getting to work here. Overgrowth, but Eclipse was waiting. It's good damage done. Ehome will be forced back from this. A two for one exchange, and at this point, they still have four range shares going strong. And RTK gets blasted, beamed, and slowly glaived to death. A painful way to go. The Quill's doing good work, not good enough as Chuan. Looks for a four. He ain't so manly after all. RTK tries to get it done. Good. Stun from Lanham across the tree line. They get the Aegis, but that's it. And now 430 lays down the Justice Hammer, turning this fight and possibly blasting Ehome out of Red Bull Battlegrounds. They're hunting for more. Four of Fall, and they're feasting on their corpses. It's five. The die is... Hey, newbie. They brought their A game for the most part today. That first best of one where they took out Ehome was impressive. They had a pretty good showing in the winner bracket final. So I don't think Newbie is going to be an easy win by any means for IG. BO1, anything can happen. And I think all four of these teams were more evenly matched enough that you can't 100% say this team's definitely not yep. going to have a chance, especially with this format. Oh, absolutely. Uh, looking forward to that IG versus Newbie best of one. I mean, all the games so far, these four teams, anyone seems to be able to take games off anyone. LGD, for the most part, you're top dogs, but you get to that best of three finals, I could see either IG or Newbie giving them a run for the money. It can all change in just a moment, folks. Well, we won't waste much time here. We've got one more best of one. That will be the loser bracket final. Finals as IG looks to march past Newbie and make their way to face the final boss. It's going to be LGD waiting in that grand finals. Guys, you're watching Red Bull Battlegrounds Dota 2. I'm LD. He's Gods. We're going to take a quick break here. If you haven't already, be sure to go to RedBullBattlegrounds.com. Tickets are on sale now for the great grand finals at the Warfield Theater in San Francisco on May 10th. But we're not there yet. We still got a lot of Dota to come. One more best of one and then into that final best of three. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back.